Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see the uh, today uh, questions that we have uh, find the number of uh, winning play players we have to find. So this is the contest questions, and we are going to see the solution. Okay. So let's uh, see the question. So the question is saying we have to find the number of winning players, and uh, we have given the statements. So let's read the statement. So the statement is saying that we have uh, given integers. Of n uh, numbers as a number of players in the game, okay. And another things we have given is a 2D array that is a pick, right? And we have to uh, pick at some index at the uh, array, and this represent x and y two values because this is 2D array, and that represents player x1 that will pick a ball of color y. So each player will pick the balls and so in that case we have to see if a player wins the game if uh, they will pick more than one uh, balls right otherwise uh, the same color uh, if you have the same color right so in, uh, in other words it is saying if a player having a zero wins means uh, they have to pick something some any balls if player one wins means they have at least two balls of the same color right so to solve this problem right uh, what do you need to do right first of all you have to understand so first uh, uh, see we have given a uh, example here as you can see we have given n and we have given a peak another uh, to the array right so as you can see here we have given this uh, you can say uh, input data right so first of all we will try to parse this input data and we'll try to get the number of pairs and their respective peaks okay that how many uh, peaks are there okay and uh, then we will see uh, like selection you can say and then uh, we are going to find the number of counts how uh, how, how 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 many balls are uh, getting uh, picked by each player right uh, how how we are going to see based on the color right so we will determine also if each player meets the uh, winning condition based on their picks right so let's go step by step and we'll try to implement this okay so let's see the solution so first of all what we have to do here right first of all we'll create a you can say a map right so you can create a, a color map and then uh, the color map we have to initialize right so how many colors we have uh, color, uh, uh, elements are there so uh, number of n times right number of players we have that number of counts we have for the color right so we will initialize the hash map and then for each peak we'll go with uh, to index we have uh, x and y so x is nothing but your player and y is nothing but your color right and uh, how we are going to map this so we have map already so map at this position means at x x is nothing but player and we'll have uh, we'll going to put this element so at color we will uh, find the number of its count right so how will it works initially it will take a default value zero otherwise next time it will increment with plus one right so each time we will increment color and number of counts so at each player having its color and count right means there is some uh, data is like that let's suppose uh, this is player one uh, let's suppose player eight okay and uh, player eight having color let's suppose a uh, red color okay and how many count is there so let's suppose Two count is there right like this so we have to map the count like this okay so at this uh, at this player we have count like this okay we'll create that okay next coming to the winning uh, counts so how, how we are going to find that so now we will go with the for loop which number of players will go and we will create the uh, winning co winning uh, count the given index plus one and uh, we'll check the uh, if it is uh, wins then we'll return true or false based on that okay how we're going to do with the inner loop we'll create and we'll map the all the colors on the count and we'll check if the count is greater than the threshold value then it means we will win let's suppose so winning is uh the index at that position we have so player see here it is saying if player zero uh wins if the they pick any ball right if it is wins right means plus one threshold value we have to increase right so for player one if they wins any balls of uh, any at least two balls right because at index one and threshold is what one plus one right so we will make one plus one here right and then whenever the count is having at this index 
value is greater than its threshold value right then we will mark it as a true and then we will break it the this player has been win and will return okay there may be more, more players are there but we will count with uh, count with the first and we will break there okay and then we will return the winning count here okay so i think you understood the problem right so if you any doubt please ping me in the comment box and uh, and please uh, also write the uh, you can say time complexity and space complexity in the comment if you any doubts we will talk much okay now let's go to uh, see another problem so another problem we have here is uh, number of flips uh, that we have to do to make the binary grid uh, uh, you can say uh, palindromic right so what we have given we have given m cross n matrix we have given and uh, then a row of uh, our row or column is considered palindromic if the value read the same forward uh, and backward right so you can flip any uh, number of cells in the grid uh, 0 to 1 right and uh, we have to return the minimum number of cells that we need to mark right and uh, uh, we will see either is parametric or not palindromic. Okay, so how we are going to see? So you, you can see right here. We have given the given input. We have given and ex in the explanation is saying so this zero and this zero. If we we'll flip this one, so it will uh, automatically it will come the uh, same value. It will come right. So it will become what? It will become palindromic as you can see here. If we we'll flip it again, it will become one one again this position. Even this is a palindromic, right? So to solve this problem, uh, uh, what we have to do to solve the problem of making either all the rows or the column palindromic with the minimum number of cells flip, right? And uh, so to do that, what we have to do? First of all, we'll count the minimum uh, flips of the row, and then uh, uh, we will calculate the number of flips required to make each uh, row palindromic, right? And then we will count uh, the sum of flips that we required for the each row. And then we'll compare the total flips that is required for the column, right? And then uh, we will count the minimum flop, uh, flips for the columns, and then we will calculate the flips required to make each column uh, palindromic, right? And then we'll uh, do some uh, flip required for each columns, and then we'll compare this one. So I'll do a, a deep uh, dive for this one tomorrow, but uh, for today, let's see the solution. Okay. So here you can see here uh, we have given a uh, matrix a grid and we'll get m and n we'll uh, find the minimum flips to make all the row palindromic how we'll do if flop a flips is zero initially we'll do and we'll uh, count each time and this is internal function we have to make right and we'll pass the grid at i so internal array will be there right and we'll uh, uh, count for the columns so row flip will go get and count uh, row and column flips will do so to do that what we have to do we have to go to inner loops like this and we'll get all the columns value and then uh, for each columns column at i will make grid at i and j and then we'll increase the uh, column flips plus equal to we'll do and we'll make it again right so how we are going to do that and then we'll find the which one is minimum and that we will return so main function is here how we are going to do minimum flips right so you can pass uh, minimum flips this and this and uh, then you can do what i equal to 0 i should be less than n by 2 and uh, if it is not equal to this then we will do flip plus plus right so basically we are ar array at i we are checking with the n minus 1 minus i right so like that like, because the first this element and the, and the last element right with that we will check if it is not equal to then we'll do flip right and then we'll do otherwise we'll, in, uh, we'll, we'll uh, increment the flips and then we'll return the flips so I'll do, uh, uh, you can say deep dive tomorrow in the separate videos. And thank you for watching these videos guys. Thank you.